Did you realize that when you get nervous, it affects the way you breathe? You slip into shallow respiration, drawing air only from your throat. This is more damaging than you'd think. Your brain senses oxygen deprivation, so it slips into fight or flight mode. That's why you've heard to breathe when you get nervous. It's to pump more oxygen from the diaphragm up to the brain. Deep breathing is really powerful because it sends a signal to your brain that you're okay and you should chill out. Also, you've heard of adrenaline, right? But did you know that your brain releases a powerful surge of the stress hormone cortisol when you're anxious? This flood of cortisol can spike your blood pressure and impair your memory. How do you counter this? By identifying in advance where your body radiates physical tension. Maybe you hold it in your shoulders. I know some people like this, they lose their neck when they're nervous. Does that happen to you? Maybe you hold it in your jaw and you can see it, or in your hands. Some people even hold it in their legs. This woman does the flamingo. She unconsciously stands on one leg when she presents. Awareness is key. Know where you hold your stress. Maybe write yourself a note before you present so you'll calm those muscles.